Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com and in this video we are going to use Paint.net to resize an image that you want to use on your site or your blog. First we open up our Paint.net and we have two ways to get our images in. You can go up to File, Open and open it out of any folder, desktop, where have you. Or if you already have that image available you can just grab it and drag it in. Here is a flower and we're going to make it a little smaller because it's way too big to put on our site. So once we have our image in, we're going to go to the top to image. Go to resize. Here you're going to have the opportunity to resize this image in any way you want. Because we want to keep the image exactly in the same shape without distorting it, we're going to maintain aspect ratio. That's going to keep it looking a little better. If you uncheck that, you have to manually put in each number and you're going to have a distorted image. So here's the width. Right now, our original picture is 4,320 by a height of 2,432. And that's freaking huge. So what we want to do is take this down to a more usable size. So for width, it's blue. I'm going to put in 800. Now our image is going to be 800 wide by 450 tall, which is great for a lot of your social sites. Once you put in your top number with maintain aspect ratio, the height will automatically change. Once you've done this, you just click OK. It's going to resize your image. And look, now this is a lot more usable for social networking than something over 4,000 wide. Once you have it sized like you want, you can other do other things, put on your watermarks, whatever you need to do. And when you're finished, simply go up to File, Save As, Rename the Image, pick your favorite type of file, and click Save. Click OK. And now I have an image that is usable without taking up tons of space and looking really funky. So that's how you size an image. It's easy as that. So there's no point in sticking huge images on when you can do this in just a few clicks. Thanks for watching Hot Blog Tips and be sure to check out our other paint.net tutorials. Have a great day.